As the calendar turns to December, I know we're not there yet, we are looking at about six months now of no product release, no news on new product release in Star Trek Tack Wing. It becomes a little disheartening, a little discouraging. I don't know what to say. I don't have insider information anymore. I wish I did, but uh, WizKids is as tight-lipped as ever about things. Um, uh, and it's disappointing to me because the future of Star Trek is, is really good right now. Uh, Discovery Season 4 has come out and the, the first episode is pretty good. Brings a lot of potential. Uh, Lower Decks is fun and, and interesting. Brings a lot of new ship possibilities to the game. Uh, even Star Trek Prodigy is, is a fun and uh, interesting show that my wife, who said she would never watch animated Star Trek, has watched that. There's something there. Star Trek Picard brings a lot of promise. Um, I'm hoping they find their footing here in a second season. I, I have high hopes for the queue. Uh, as I've been doing the Get the Cheese to Sick Bay, a lot of the cards that have come out in the past several years are really, really good. They don't need changes. And, and that's encouraging to me. That speaks to something that there's a really good design here. There's intentional design that has made, instead of about 30-40% of the cards, playable, usable, feel balanced, now it's more like 80-90% of the cards feel like they're right and they have a place in the game. You know, to me... That is what makes this game so good, is what we have and how it can be made better. So, where do we go from here? Uh, Star Trek Alliance, I know it's been out a year, about, not quite, um... I want a second season. I want the three seasons that uh, jo Josh Dirksen and, and company have talked about. I I think that that's really the future. Um, Paul Mark in the community, uh, Facebook community, has done wonderful things with additional campaigns and uh, has a pirate campaign that really excites me. Uh, has gotten a lot of people into it and uh and i think that there's something there um that system the alliance system is a future outlet for this game but com competitive play is messy right now um the game ugh, the game needs overhauls to be uh to be better. And, and I feel like that's something we are facing um, that, that's holding it back. Um, and maybe that's okay. Maybe it doesn't have to be the most competitive game. Maybe it's okay to be the kitchen table Star Trek experience. And not all things have to be hyper competitive. I think I've reached that point, and uh, that acceptance has made me happier. And uh, and I think that as time has gone on, as I didn't have the the month in month out grind of of playing in tournaments uh, when COVID shut everything down, um, and then moving to some online play and just kind of playing for fun um, life got better with the game playing a build just to to play it have fun see if it worked playing more thematically 
that's Star Trek. That's not to say I don't love mixing and matching and, and trying to find these uber cheese combos because I love that too. Uh, and I think there is something very innovative and Star Trek at the heart of that too. I, I think there is saying we have this at our disposal. How can we use it to the best of our ability? That is at the heart of a Starfleet engineer, scientist, explorer. And uh, please don't let anyone ever tell you otherwise. Because I, I don't think that uh, that's good for our community. Things that I'd like to see still. Um, I mentioned it in my last video. I, I would love to see the Q faction expanded. Um, I'd love to see the Bajorans and the Zindi get some love. I know they're probably not anyone's absolute favorite, but I think that they have room to grow. Um, I would love to see some cardboard added to the game. Uh, I remember a conversation I had about the crystalline entity and just how difficult of a model that would be to produce. So it is probably impossible to ever get a model for the crystalline entity. I don't even think Eagle Moss has done it. But why not cardboard? Right? We saw a cardboard board cube. I'd take a cardboard crystalline entity. That would let us have missions with it. That would be cool. Um, yeah, of course, I'd love to put a space Christmas tree on the table. That would be epic as well. But, uh, you know, why not? Nero's mining ship. Um, that would be an equally epic piece, uh, but probably better served as cardboard. You know, we, we want some of these big pieces because they look awesome on the board, but uh, they work. Uh, I'd, I'd love to see a lower decks pack. I'd love to see two lower decks packs. Um, because I think we need one for hero ships, uh, and we need one for for enemy ships. I mean, just the, the one episode they did near the end of Season 2 where they did uh, ships, you know, lower decks across the Alpha Beta Quadrant, that alone could be a faction pack. And uh, that would give love to Klingons, Vulcans, Federation, Borg... Um, you know, why not? Um, beyond that, I still think the Romulans need another faction pack, right? Uh, Federation have gotten two and a half, three, really, if you want to count the animated pack, um, plus Vulcans. I mean, so that's like four faction packs. Uh, Klingons have seen more love. But uh, Romulans need another faction pack. They are falling behind yet again. Uh, and, I mean, call it the Tal Shiar pack. That would be really cool. Give us a ton of, of uh, flexibility with what could happen there. Um, I still want to see the Sona. I, I really do. I want to see an Enterprise C. Um, I want to see Sulaban in the game. Like, I, I know I've made videos on on ships I want to see, but I want to see the game fleshed out to cover more of the, the content of Star Trek. We are missing massive characters. Uh, maybe not the most uh, war-focused or combative focused characters but we are still missing characters and, and i think that a bigger focus on them could help flesh out the game i want to see more ambassadors i want to see more admirals i want to see uh all kinds of new mechanics as well and i want to see like the specialization cards from the mirror faction pack the kelvin faction pack brought back in 
I want to see them use these mechanics again and again and again so that things get better. Um, I think there is a ton that can be done for the game to make it a deeper, richer game to give everyone more choices, more options in what they fly. The competitive scene is, I think, getting better, but the home game is what will sustain people playing. And please, for the love of Q, get more starters out there. We need a reprint of the starters. I know the global shipping system and production is all messed up right now, but the starter should not go out of print for years. Years. That, that's just... It's impossible. Anyway. I'm still here. I'm still going to do what I do. It's going to be sporadic. Um, but... I'm around. And anytime you want to talk, you know, shoot me a message, leave a comment somewhere. You all know how to reach me in different places. So uh, thank you all for watching. I really do appreciate it. And uh, and thank you for listening to the rant, <laughs> the, the get it off my chest decompression time. So uh, until next time, we'll see you around the shipyard. Take care, guys. <laughs>